This Mitchell camera first sold on February 18th, 1929. This camera is more than 87 years old and will shoot today. I'll cover this camera and the special things about it later on in this video. But first, I'll start with William Fox and his relationship with Mitchell camera. William Fox was born Wilhelm Fuchs in Hungary to German Jewish parents. The family immigrated to the U.S. when Fox was nine months old. When William was 24, he purchased his first Nickelodeon parlor. This was the beginning of Fox Theaters. Today, one can see his DNA in everything movies. This camera's story is a fun piece of William Fox's history. In the winter of 1925, William Fox saw his first sound movies. He called for a meeting with Mr. Theodore Case, the successful inventor of synchronous sound on film. Fox purchased the rights and gave Case a million dollars to spend in any way he wanted to, to perfect sound movies. A million dollars in 1925. This started the Fox Case Corporation, the original purchasers of this camera. I only know of two Fox cameras. This one and the one that sits in Rupert Murdoch's office on the Fox lot in Hollywood. And it's quite rare to find a Mitchell camera that was originally purchased by any movie studio as most have been lost or cannibalized for parts. Take a look at my other Mitchell camera videos for details on why so many cameras were lost over the last 90 years. They're on my YouTube channel, One Sam Dodge. For someone who quit school and went to work at 11 years old, William Fox was an exceptional visionary. He could see things in the future that no one else saw. William Fox stood on the rolling hills of his new lot he named Movie Tone City and remarked to his assistant that someday there would be a whole city surrounding his movie lot, and he hoped he would still be around to see it. William Fox was a gambler, and in 1947, he won the Mitchell Camera Company in a crafts game. He hired George Mitchell to come back and run the company. George Mitchell and William Fox were partners at the forefront of a storytelling revolution. A revolution that was changing society across the world. A revolution in movie making magic that leads directly back to this camera. Now, Mitchell cameras were designed to create the first great leap in innovative motion picture imaging. Internal mats like binoculars and keyhole to a quick change four lens turret to quick change film magazines and automatic fade in and fade out. All these in-camera abilities brought enhanced storytelling to a place where it had not been for 10,000 years. For more information about this camera or any of my other cameras, please contact me through my website, www.samdodge.com. Now to the camera demo. I'll show you some of the things that make this camera so exceptional. One is that it cranks and runs like new. And now we'll go through some of the accessories and some of the things that are still with this camera that make it so special. One of the things that makes it exceptionally rare is that most cameras had the uh, mats removed and this camera still has them. It's got binoculars and keyhole and oval and circle. One of the other things that makes the camera so special is it still has the behind the lens iris. So you could iris down and then move the iris to where you wanted to center the attention. You could iris down on an actress 
and wherever she was in frame, and then open it up, do your shot, and then iris down to her. There are another couple of accessories that this camera has, and that's uh, frame right and frame left blocks. So you can block out a f part of your frame so you can do special effects. And those are right and left, and here's top and bottom. And this is what the camera looks like when it's running. Because Mitchell movements were so easily removed, it's really quite unusual to find a camera that still has its original movement. This camera still has matching serial numbers. Serial number 167. Mitchell cameras were designed as a rack over camera. And that's because you couldn't look through the lens while you were shooting because the film and the camera body were behind the lens. So you racked the camera over. That took the mag and the film over to the side and let you look through here. You could get critical focus and then rack back over and get your film where it would shoot. And then you shot using the side finder for reference. This Fox camera is a really dramatic display piece. Now it'll shoot today, but I'm sure it's going to spend the rest of its life uh, being on display. It comes with a really rare Houston Fearless head and a, just a spectacular wooden tripod. Fox camera, 167. Please feel free to contact me with any questions about this camera or any other camera through my website, samdodge.com.